Hello everybody, this is Bill Gaelic, and I just wanted to give you a little uh, audio and video tour of my Blackboard course. This uh, particular course, we're talking about a summer semester in, in uh, introductory social work, uh, but uh, or introductory social welfare, I should say, but uh, this will apply pretty much to all my courses, and so I'm just going to embed this video in in the start here menu for for all my courses, and so that you know it gives you a good idea how to find things in my class if you haven't taken a course with me before, or if you have taken a course with me and don't know what my logic is, maybe this will help you a little bit in in figuring out why I set up the courses the way I do. Um, all of this information is available in writing. I think both in the start here. Um, uh, item on the course menu as well as in week one course content you'll find this information and uh, probably in more detail than you're going to hear from me in this video but if you're an audio visual learner or don't feel like reading follow along so I think this is probably what your what your desktop looks like this is my desktop you're looking at by the way uh, when you open up uh, when you click on or when you open up blackboard i should say and of course what you want to do over here is find a particular course you're looking for in this case that's right here double click on that course and before i go any further i am going to go into student preview mode so that my at least in theory uh, what this shows is very similar to the same thing you see now, interestingly, I've had a, a few uh, surprises myself as I've tried to record this video about what you see. For instance, uh, here's the start here item that you've already clicked on, obviously. And I always thought that you saw all of this information page by page. And maybe you do. Um, but what I have here is what I typically see as an instructor, which is each page and then a line and another page and a line and this is what we call edit mode so that I can look through this and see now a lot of the information I'm about to give you about the course menu is right here in part one and part two for instance but uh, discussion boards and how you use them those kinds of things um, but when your blackboard course opens when you click on the course it's going to open to the announcements page there are no announcements here at the moment but there will be shortly and this really represents um, the important information that I have to share with you. Now, every time I post an announcement in the course, I will also have it sent to you in your university email account. And so if your email is working properly, you'll get that email uh, as well. But some of you may not check your emails very religiously. So when you check into the course, always be sure to look at announcements and see if there's something new, because this is generally something I consider to be important information. New announcements should always be on top when you open the course. The syllabus item is here on the left, and and uh, first of all, you can see that if you if you click on the uh, the little uh, link there at the top, you you can call up your your syllabus for the semester. And I, I do encourage all of you to print out this, keep a hard copy on hand. I don't know for whatever reason, in case uh, you know all our power grid goes down, you'll you'll know what's expected of you. Anyway, even we may have to resort to mailing lessons in that event. But once again, I thought this was page by page, but I see again that this, this all displays on one page for me. I don't know if it does for you or not, but you're also going to find that each individual section of the syllabus here is also on the syllabus link. So if you don't have your syllabus on hand, and you don't particularly want to uh, you know, click on the syllabus and take the time to download it, you can always scroll through this and you'll find pretty much, I think, the entire syllabus right here. Okay. Um, okay, so ah, there it is. So I, I just, what I did here is I just clicked in the, in the yellow area and one of the things you'll notice is this little gray bar popped up. If you want more content on your screen and you don't want this this menu there, you'll see this little arrow. You can click on that arrow and that menu disappears. Or um, on the other hand, if you're working through something and all of a sudden the course menu disappears and you can't get it back, it's probably because you accidentally clicked on this bar. And so again, just find the little gray bar the arrow will appear and your menu is back magically. So it's a wonders of Blackboard. This is very uh, context sensitive. You're going to see in a second also about another item that pops up. Now I'm going to take you to weekly course content and this is where you're going to find uh, all of the information you need to know 
week by week by week about what your lessons are, what you have to read, what you're expected to do, what I want you thinking about. You'll find links to your discussion boards and your journal entries here as well. So let's just click on this. Now, right now, uh, well, probably most of you, it's already the first week's probably already opened. But if not, you're just going to find this little little message here that tells you to be watching here every Sunday morning a new learning unit will open up and I, I just uh, made week six available for the purposes of this particular uh, uh, video but you'll see week one week two week three each week it will open up on a Sunday morning the new uh, week's content should open on top once again the previous weeks will remain there if you want to go back and review things or for whatever reason you need to go back there um, but the future weeks won't appear until the week arrives, the Sunday morning arrives. Again, I've kind of given you a sneak preview here. This is for uh, June. And so this is what you're going to see when you click on the weekly course content. Now, one thing before we go further, you'll see there's a, a menu over here. So this tells you all the different slides that are available in this week's course content. So you want to make sure you, you see all those slides before you sign out. Now, if you if this for whatever reason this menu bugs you, you can well actually you can see here you can make that that menu disappear. And if this menu bugs you, you can move it to the bottom of your screen by clicking on that arrow. Or here I'll just click on this arrow again, um, and it goes back to the left. And I'm going to call this back just because that's the way I like to see things. Now there are a couple of buttons up here. When you click on this, it uh, expands so you can see more of the menu. And this little button here hides the table of contents. And so this gives you uh, more screen space. So th that's again what that little thing is for. Um, so when you open, the first thing you're going to see is uh, a slide with this is stuff that I have uh, that I have authored. And, and so uh, just to give you an idea of what it was, what it is that I want you to think about during the week. Usually there's a picture here and almost always that photograph is my own photograph, by the way. So then we, uh, the little arrow up here in the right, and you can see there's an arrow that will also take you back to the previous slide if you want to, but this is how you work through your course. And this is the way I thought all those other pages were, but apparently not. In this particular uh, week, there are two different um, two different uh, uh, introductory slides. Uh, partly because this is a summer semester, and I'm 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 actually compressing 15 weeks of lessons into 10 weeks of lessons. So sometimes there's uh, uh, two slides where there would be one. The next thing you're going to see is the week's uh, learning objectives, week by week then the week's assignments and um, so we'll tell you what to read what chapters and which book to read if there's a film it'll tell you uh, about the film it'll tell you go to the assignments link sometimes there are articles in the assignments link also as you see and underneath this i've also just kind of given you a little a little ditty on what each uh, what each reading or each assignment has to do with what we're studying during the week um, the assignments link by the way if you look over here on the left it's right here, but we're not going to go there quite yet. But um, uh, that's where you'd find, for instance, in this week, this this article that I was in Negro in the South for 30 days and also the PBS film, the link to the film. OK, so we're going to click in the upper right again. You get one of my my uh, my lectures. And uh, if you just click on this arrow, the lectures going to play and let's see this doesn't tell you but I tell you I think once it starts playing it'll tell you how long it is but I almost always tell you up here in the top how long the lecture is so you know what to expect and how you can maybe budget your time now usually there's going to be another lecture and uh, sometimes a few more lectures but some of them like here this was less than 15 minutes long um, there, there are only two lectures in this particular week okay then with, to the response to readings and video, um, this is uh, this is your discussion board basically. So if you click on this, uh, now this isn't there. So again, in week six, the week five, week four, week three, week two discussion boards will all be below this as well. So uh, I just haven't made them available for this particular view, but this is what it's going to look like. So 
here's your discussion board prompt or question that that I want you to think about and to answer. And then in order to get to that point, you click on the title of the discussion board. There's nothing here and you're going to say create thread and give it a title, type in your response. And now you can if you're not done with it, if you want to keep it for a while and think about it, uh, you can click save draft. Uh, but that will not submit it and I won't see it. No one else will see it but you. If you want to submit it, then you click submit. And um, I think once you've submitted, you're not going to be able to delete what you did. So you want to make sure what you say is something you really want out there. Your discussion boards are shared by everyone in the class. There's also a place here where you can attach a file, photographs or other kinds of things that you might want to attach to your uh, to your your post. OK, so I'm going to back. I'm going to cancel this, which takes us back to where we were. Now, when you open this in future weeks, um, your your classmates are going to be making their posts and they will see it here or you will see their posts as well. And you then click reply to their post uh, when it's time for you to respond to a couple of your uh, your classmates. Grading information on the uh, thing. Um, don't know. I guess this uh, tells you, I, this is a new one to me, but it looks like what this will tell you is what grade you get on your discussion board after I have reviewed it. Uh, this also gives you a chance to preview what it is you have written. If you've written anything, which I haven't. And so again, I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to go back and okay again. This is a good way to get out of things. Now, the one thing about discussion boards is worth knowing is, is you don't have the uh, right arrow up here to, or the left arrow to go back to the class. Uh, this is an unfortunate design issue. So you have to go up here to the upper left in your browser and click your browser back button and that'll take you back into the course. I swear it will. Oh, I know because I didn't I, I went further into <laughs> there. We, no, we're not there yet. I was just OK. So now we're back to the discussion board and and click that back arrow and it will take you right back into the course. And this is the this is the the slide in the course that took you to the discussion board. Now we have our right arrow again and we go on to page eight, which is your journal. Um, and uh, the instructions for this are here for you. It tells you every week it will tell you what you should do with the journal when the deadline is the same thing for the discussion boards it tells you what what date it should be um, uh, posted by and in order to do that again click the launch and um, here's where you can um, type in your your journal entries i was under the impression that Maybe this um, maybe this is where I thought you could access your previous week's journals here as well, uh, although I don't see that listed. OK, then after the journal, uh, this is a reminder that a test is going to open in this spot. Uh, the test doesn't open until a certain time and it will tell you when to look for the test. You come to this spot. And so until the test open, you won't see the test there. And when the test opens, you won't see that reminder anymore. The test will be there instead. Uh, you can access the slides from the lectures without sound by clicking on those links. Uh, it won't take but a minute to download. There it is. So you you can, um, you know, if you want to, you can uh, print them out or just hold on to them so that you can um, use them for reference when it comes time to study. These are the slides that will be my lectures uh, built around. Okay, then uh, it looks like I've got two different closing slides here again. Uh, and then finally, page 12 and 12, that's the end. So please do read these things, by the way. These are things that I write and uh, I think they're worth thinking about. So that's the weekly course content and that's what you're going to find there. Each week you'll find a new course. So be sure not to miss your slide uh, miss the uh the each slide that's in the course and again if you're not sure 
what what to be looking for here just click on this and that'll give you the table of contents right so you can be sure that you saw everything all right let's go to the course calendar link which basically is a part of the syllabus also but here once again uh, week by week you see all the the lessons you're going to have so if you want to study ahead and you're frustrated because you can't find out what the information what you're going to be studying because the weekly course content hasn't opened yet you can go in here and see what chapter we're reading in each of the textbooks each week and what kinds of activities you're going to be participating in uh, also see again i thought this was slide by slide but apparently not here's the schedule for when the tests are given when they open when they close um, the timelines for for how you when you should post and when I'll grade discussion board and journals. Um, let's see here assignments. Now here you're not going to see anything because I didn't open anything up. But as this as this says here, when I say go to your assignments link, uh, you'll find material here, uh, articles to read. Generally, you either click on an attachment or you click on the title itself and it will either open up the reading or it will uh, open up a video. And and you're to do that as a part of your weekly assignment. Going down the menu further, here is board and journal grading guidelines. If you have any questions here about how, wow, this is big, uh, big font, I should work on this. Uh, it tells you how I grade uh, the discussion boards and the journals and gives you some tips for the kinds of things you uh, need to know about writing and Blackboard courses and, and, and things that I think are important. So please be sure to read through these. There's also a link for the discussion boards where you can get to the discussion boards that are visible. However, I encourage you to access your discussion boards through the weekly course content because you're going to skip a lot of information because you should be reading the, the readings first and listening to the lectures before you do your discussion board posts. But if you need to come back just to uh, respond to some classmates posts, this is a good shortcut, this, this little shortcut here. Likewise for journals, this is how you can access uh, a shortcut to journals. But again, I, I prefer you access it through the weekly course content. Now, also down here, it's not available yet for you to see, but your group will have a link here when you are assigned to a group to do your group project for the semester. And also instructions and guidelines for your group project will also be two other items, but they won't appear until the groups are assigned later in the semester. You can access information about me and see me on a lucky fishing day on the Kenai. Not a lot of information there, but it's something. I guess you can send emails to all your... Um, all your classmates here too. I don't know if you see, I guess you see that. Here's a tool link. If you have questions about how to uh, do certain things, there's all sorts of uh, resources here for you about how to use the different parts of Blackboard and everything like that. You can also access your grades here. Yes, so you can see what you got in each assignment. I encourage you not to wait until week 15 of a 16 week course or week 9 of a 10 week or 10 week 10 of an 11 week course to to uh, to look at your grades and that's what happens sometimes people get into a little bit of panic if you wait too late so it's good to check that from time to time also a, a help page which has a lot of resources for you in terms of technical support and accessibility and all sorts of different academic support and resources information also available for you and also I have more student help and this is an old help link that I had that just presents it in a less uh, visual way and frankly this is the kind of way I like to see things but you know not everybody does so that's that's what your uh, blackboard course is going to look like and I think it tells you a little bit about how to navigate around it so I'm hoping that uh, you'll find this to be pretty easy to work if you have questions please let me know and and I'll try to help you uh, navigate some of these things but but again I think you'll find remember every week Sunday morning check on weekly course content and see what you have to do for the week it's a very very important link okay if you have any questions let me know uh, I will otherwise close out this uh, lecture for now